Before this video starts, thank you to Catalyst Mints for sponsoring it. Link in the description down below. What is up, people of the internet? It is your favorite YouTuber, Kixaro, here. And you know what time it is. It is time for that what is supposed to be once a week, but ends up being once every three weeks uh, content. This is subscriber of the week. And today we're going to have another two subscribers, but I've been thinking about doing something a little different. So as you guys know, I picked two subscribers that are one, either active on my channel all the time or are just really good friends of mine that are looking to get started. But um, not only that, not only is it, you know, to help you guys gain subscribers, it's for me to critique you. And first, I just want to say sorry right now. It is currently uh, 10 o'clock at night and I'm super tired, but I just wanted to record this video for you guys so I could get it out next week. But um, this is not only, you know, to, you know, I'm not bashing you guys. I'm trying to genuinely give you guys good advice so you guys can not only grow to 100 subscribers to eventually thousands of subscribers, hopefully. So uh, anything I say is obviously to help you to help you. It is a constructive criticism. So, uh, yeah. But let's get into the basics to become a subscriber of the week. All you literally have to do is be active on my videos, you know, advocate, subscribe send a post notifications and just be a really good subscriber. You know what I mean? Don't be fake. Don't only comment on these subscriber of the week videos. I want you to be someone that subscribed to me for a long time. Then that's basically all the rules. So uh, if you are a subscriber of the week, then uh, congratulations and thank you. And if you continue to grind and get better, you will eventually grow. And if you get better and better content, you can be become a subscriber of the week again. All right. So uh, sometimes I think one of them, one of my subscribers of the week is going to be someone with genuine good content and the other subscriber of the week is going to be someone who has been supporting me for a while. But if you are a subscriber and you are not a subscriber of the week, if you have been a subscriber of the week, if you're just watching this video, what I want you to do is leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and then leave constructive criticism for one of the subscribers down below. And if you leave constructive criticism that is genuinely helpful, you know, work on your thumbnails or work on anything, even if I said already, you will get a shout out in the next subscriber of the week video, or you may even become the subscriber of the week for the next video. So um, that's basically it. So let's get right into the first subscriber. The subscriber is actually a friend of mine from my school and uh, in middle school, rather, he was the biggest YouTuber in my school at 300. And then he ended that channel and he, uh, what's it called? He restarted because, you know, he had a lot of subscribers, but he wasn't getting any viewer interaction. So he ended it, restarted it, and now he's sitting at 85. Now his sub to view ratio is astronomical which is amazing and his sub to like ratio is also amazing so uh congratulations bro like you're really out here grinding and i i can honestly respect it so uh his content kind of varies as you can see i'm in his feature channels and uh, we are actual genuine friends in school and in middle school i remember him being a higher subscriber count. i remember i had 100 subscribers and he was at 300 killing it but um, he restarted and he's doing pretty good. Now, before this even starts, before I even start critiquing him, um, everything, everything he does is on the phone. So the banner is made on the phone. This is made on the phone. Thumbnails, all made on the phone. Everything is edited on the phone. So uh, before you guys completely roast him, there is that. But I'm going to start off with critique. Let's get right into it. So appearing, just looking at his channel, you think he'd be like a vlog type, you know, action type because you see the muscles you see the working out you think he'd be like a fitness youtuber but in all actuality he is more of a gaming youtuber so well, i'm not going to say that this is horrible it looks clean but it doesn't fit what type of channel you are you know i like that you have a consistent font this font is really clean it is really clean it's kind of minimalistic but uh, the the kind of fade in between each picture is definitely beautiful you did a lot of this is amazing work especially for a phone i'm not even gonna gas that especially for a phone that is amazing but um you know it doesn't kind of fit your theme you know what i mean like mine is minimalistic but i do technology you know my thumbnails are kind of uh have a gradient behind it, it has like a certain kind of swirl behind it so my thumbnails are consistent and my channel is obviously like put together and consistent now i'm not gonna be here you know sitting here gassing myself up I could do that, but I'm not going to. But if you come over to my channel, you see that everything is kind of a set order. You know what I mean? I kind of have this specific border on the outside, a certain color, and I kind of pop out. Now, what I recommend for YouTube thumbnails is for, it depends what type of content you do, of course, but if you're like a let's player, like let's say the Rad Brad, and you know how he usually has to do like, uh, you know, part one, part two. 
So if you're a Let's Play YouTuber, then of course you need text inside of your uh, inside of your thumbnails. But if it isn't for a Let's Play, I would never recommend putting text inside of your thumbnails. And the reason for that is because you want to be the focal point. Like if you look at his thumbnails, there's a lot going on. You know what I mean? Like if you look here, obviously this is on the phone, but still like let's check this one. Blackout is better than Fortnite covering his face. Then on the left, you see Fortnite. on the right, you see Fortnite. On the left, you see Black Ops. But there's like so much going on. You know, there's the text, there's his reaction. Then here, there's this, the Black Ops. Then over here, this Fortnite. There's a lot going on in your thumbnail. He has his reactions. You can't even see him because he's covered by the text. And then you have the background. And then here you have the emoji. Then you have reaction. Then you have the text that you can barely see because it's covered by this. And then you have like the little reaction on the bottom. So uh, what I would say is, you know, I know you're not necessarily a YouTuber like me, which is technology wise and unboxing. You know, I usually do in every thumbnail. Without a doubt, I always have that kind of outside banner. I always have this kind of swirl in the background. It's consistent. So this video could go back a month ago. You could go back two months ago. How far? When did I first start doing it? I first started doing it two months ago. So from here up, it's consistent. You know, I have the outside layer. I have a certain kind of bright color. I have myself outlined with a white kind of border. And then uh, the swirls. And, you know, it's a sense of identity. You know, some people, some YouTubers do like a little logo in the back, the top left or the bottom right. They have like a little logo that shows that it's their video. But for me, it's just the brightness. Like if you're scrolling through your feed, you see like this. It's like clickable. It's pop. It pops out at you. You know what I mean? So I always recommend thumbnails having no text inside of it and using your, you know, using your, uh, your title to tell what your video is. You know what I mean? But I don't do like that. But what we're going to do is get into one of his videos, one that I actually genuinely watched, and then we're going to critique it. So of course his channel is going to be in the description down below. You guys should subscribe to him and let's help him get to 95, I'm guessing, or 100. Let's help him, let's help him hit 100. If we do that, that'd be crazy. We're going to watch this Black Ops 4 Blackout is better than Fortnite. I'm going to do is give you guys about three minutes. And if you want to skip this, you can just skip ahead. We're going to jump right into the beginning at around the 2.30 mark. We're going to stop. Okay, let's go. Yo, what's up, YouTube? My name's Alpha, and welcome back to the channel, guys. So, the gameplay hey, you're looking at in the background of this video is the Black Ops 4 Blackout Beta gameplay, guys. Now, I've been playing it all weekend, and I have been wanting to so bad to give you my honest opinion about the game and possibly give you guys a funny moment, which might be coming later in a couple days, to the channel, guys. So... I just want to get right into it. So, there was three main things I really loved about the game, two things that needs to be changed and I hated so much about the game, and one key factor to the game that can either make it or break it, guys. So, let's start with the pros, guys. So, the number one thing I really loved about Black Ops 4's Blackout Beta was the zombies. Now, if you guys, if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, guys, it's a... Zombies is a huge part of Black Ops' franchise. Now, they implemented it in a way where it was so simple, but yet it was genius. And now, I thought it was going to be something completely different. It was going to be insane. But no, it was actually really simple. But I love the way they did it. So, in the Blackout map, there's a couple places in the map that are zombie maps. Now, the biggest one was Asylum, which is actually Shinonuma from World at War. Now, if you go into uh, that mode, not the mode, but like that area of the mode, so Asylum, it's, uh, it's, it's in the map, right? You go into that, right? And you're playing normally, right? You're trying to gear up, and then out of nowhere, a wave of zombies comes at you. Probably like 30 of them, right? And you have to try to kill all of them. Now, they're not that hard to kill. They're like normal zombies, right? But they can kill you. It's 10 hits per hit. So, if they hit you once, 10 health is going Okay, so I gave you exactly 2 minutes of footage. I was going to give you 2.33 three minutes, but if you guys honestly want uh, to see more of this content, of course, this channel is going to be in the description down below, but immediately thinking, 35 views, 8 likes and 1 dislike. That is an amazing ratio. Okay? But uh, now we're going to talk about critique on the video itself. Now, first off, if you guys know, I use an Elgato HD60 Pro, and that is a $180 capture card. So, of course, I'm not expecting 1080 frames per second from him. It is rendered in 1080, but it is not true 1080 because he is using the Xbox. I believe, this is all assumptions, I believe, I believe that he is using the actual Xbox to, uh, you know, render his videos. 
So first off, I mean, it's not the greatest quality, but uh, you can see what's going on. And if it gets bigger, again, of course, it'll probably upgrade. Uh, the ban the 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 video quality is nice. You know what I mean. The little border is nice. But what I recommend is there's two different things. Sometimes it's a focal point. The focal point of the video is a gameplay, and the focal point of the gameplay is probably talking in the background. So you can do like a little face cam. But if the focal point of the video is him talking, which it is for this video, it's him talking about the gameplay. Then what you need to do is have yourself be the main border, the main, the main, the main video, and have this little gameplay. Not, I'm not saying like a little face cam about this size. The size is perfect. And then you also want to lower the volume because in this beginning part, like I think it was here, you can barely hear you because you know the game audio and your audio are fighting each other. So I couldn't find the exact portion, but just lower the game volume a little bit. So I mean, you can hear the game, you can hear the game, you can hear the shooting, but remember. You're the focal point, so you want to make sure you're bigger, the gameplay is smaller, and the volume of the gameplay is lower. So that is it for I'm Alpha. Of course, he's going to be in the description down below. Make sure you guys check him out and leave a subscription and tell him Kek sent you. Leave a like on his videos. I'm going to post on vacations. And of course, even when you become a subscriber of the week, make sure you do all that to my content. Let's move on to the last person, the second person, Apex. And he has been a subscriber for a long time, ever since I was like at five 500 600 which is crazy thank you for the support now he hasn't posted in a while but i just want to surprise him you know what i mean he's honestly been you know amazing throughout my growth he's been a little bit stagnant now but the, like during the summer he was amazing on point always you know the first person there so he does i believe he does his rainbow videos as you can see he's a, a regular jaeger uh profile picture and he doesn't have a banner so, you know, he's not really doing too much. Let's see the about. This is Google Plus. Discussion. Let's see. Channels. Anything else? Playlist. Anything. No. So, I guess this is first ace on R6. So, I guess what I'm going to do is just play that and then uh, just leave him in the description. I'm not really going to critique him because he's not really trying to be a YouTuber. It's just an account to, you know, post uh, share play clips on. So, I'm going to play this for you guys and then do the outro. And uh, that's basically it. Let's go. All right, so essentially that is it. I just want to talk about this video for a little bit. Um, I think it was this kill versus, was it Sophia? Yeah, honestly, if you guys saw my first ever, uh, why am I going to playlist? I meant to go here. If you guys saw my first ever, uh, what's it called? Was it this one? Was it this one? Was it that one? No, this one. If you guys never saw this freaking, uh, like montage watch it because i used to go crazy with jaeger drop shotting i'm so sad that they got rid of it but honestly it's for the betterment of the game but i used to go crazy with jaeger i'm looking at my old gameplay before i knew the capability of the zim to now where i actually know what i'm doing with the zim uh it's actually amazing but before this video ends i just want to say thank you guys for all the support it's honestly been crazy but uh first if you have a if you have a PS4 and either you're good, you're good, you have the Zim or you just play with a controller, make sure you join my Discord, which is going to be in the description down below. I'm going to be having a 2v2 and a 1v1 tournament uh, for PlayStation 4. And the winner is going to get a gift card. So if you'd really like to join that, make sure you guys leave a uh, leave a like, leave a subscription, turn on post notifications, and join that Discord ASAP. Because I'm going to try and get that thing started as soon as possible. So if you have a PS4 and you would like to join a 1v1 tournament, go join that Discord. It's for Rainbow Six, and the winner is going to get a gift card. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be fun. It's going to be, you know, friendly. But uh, just leave a like, leave a subscription, and I'll see you guys in the next video.
Peace out.